Hi, Mid-City Air Conditioners up in Quebec, Canada asked me to review whether or not a Goodman 24,000 BTU mini split is compatible with the Coolbot. And I'm testing it down here in Sedona, Arizona, where it's over 100 degrees, and it's worked perfectly. It's, it's an absolutely terrific fit with the Coolbot. It was a very easy install. There is a secondary hidden sensor in this Goodman mini split. It has to be disengaged for the Coolbot to work. And there are some quick tips that I wanted to share about how to access that sensor um, so that you can get it to work with your air conditioner. So I've got this prepped so that hopefully I can show you how to do it very quickly. It's half taken apart, but you'll be able to see what I did. So you hook up the mini split the way that you normally would, and uh, then pop the top off it up. And this cover is covering the, the inner components of the Goodman. There's a little picture on the cover that you use a screwdriver and it just pops up and comes off. So it's just a snap-on, there's no screws. Then there is a wiring harness that has to be temporarily disconnected. And if you look at the wiring harness, there's a front and a back. The back of the wiring harness has a little clip on it. You push down on the back side of the clip and then it opens up very easily. So you're almost there. This is the primary sensor for the mini split and it's, it's attached right to the front fins. There's a little clip. So that one's easy to see. And for that, you can just follow the normal instructions on the Coolbot. That hooks up to the Coolbot's heater. What I want to show you is how to access the hidden secondary sensor. So for that, down here at the bottom of the air conditioner, there are two little plastic clips. There's only two of them. And you pop those open and you use a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew the two silver screws that are behind. So there's only two screws to access this. Then, there are some clips at the top. In this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips. So all you're doing is you're popping it off those clips, and then there's the side clips. So it's very easy to pop them off. You have to get high, whoops. And then this comes right off. All right. And I've already removed it, but here's the secondary sensor and it's clipped into, there's a little copper cup and you'll see this is the only black wire. There's a little copper cup and you just pull it out of that copper cup and let it hang free. So with some mini splits, you can access the secondary sensor without taking the cover off. You can just stick a, a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver and pop this out. On the Goodman, that's not so easy. It's a lot easier just to undo those two screws. So once that's all back, we can take the cover and we can reinstall it the same way. It just clips right back into place. And uh, then hook up the Coolbot as you normally would, just following the Coolbot instructions, and you'll be good to go. And I'm gonna get this running again, because it's hot in here. Thanks, bye.